Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Skills to Scale. Listen to Mahabharat in simple English by Shruti Bhushan. Before we knew about the boon of Kunti and how she involved Surya. We know that now Kunti has a boy and they named him Karna. Now what will happen to that boy? If you haven't watched the previous video, please go and watch it. And also like, share and subscribe to Skills to Scale to get more videos. Having blessed with a boy, Kunti is depressed. She cannot face her father as her father wouldn't be happy listening to all this. Bakri, Kunti's principal maid, advised her to not to tell this to anyone. She takes Kunti's promise that she will not tell this to anyone. Kunti, having no better idea left, thinks the same. Dhatri also tells her to leave the child in water. Kunti accepts this with heavy heart. She personally puts the boy inside a small basket with full of lotus flowers. She prays to Lord Surya to protect his son. Lord Surya appears and blesses him with kavach and kundal, that is, an armor and earrings. He blesses him that these kavach and kundal protects him from any harm. From that day, that boy was also called Surya Putrakar. And thus, Kunti leaves the boy in the basket and starts shedding tears. Within no time, because of heavy waves, the basket disappears. Dhatri requests Kunti not to tell this to anybody. But Kunti decides to at least tell this truth to the person whom she marries. Coming to know about the Swayamvar, Kunti decides to tell the person her truth First, if he accepts, then only she will marry him. So, Kunti decides to indirectly ask a question in her swimmer. Whoever gives the right answer, she will marry him. In the hall, all the kings were seated, waiting for the arrival of Kunti. King Pandu was also present in the hall. Kunti comes and asks a question. Everyone in the hall tries to answer the question, but Kunti is not satisfied by their answers. King Pandu tries to answer... And he gives the right answer. Kunti is so happy that she got a prince who can understand her pain. After marriage, she decides to tell the truth to him. Pandu wins Kunti and their marriage takes place. After the marriage is done, they leave for Hastinapur. Before leaving, Datri warns Kunti again and again not to tell anything about her past. She also says that this past can protect her if Pandu ever marries another girl. In the Meantime, at Hastinapur, the news of Pandu and Kunti reached Bhishma and Satyavati. Gandhi is happy to welcome the new queen while Vidrast is still not happy with Pandu being the queen, king. Suddenly, they come to know that their friendly neighboring kingdom has been attacked and they have to go for war. King Pandu bids farewell to Kunti and leaves for war on their first day. Now, what happens at war? What happened to the king of Hastinapur? What happened to the boy whom Kunti left in water? To know more about it, do watch my next video. Now, let's have a look at the words. The first one is disappear, means to be lost or go missing. The basket in which the boy was there disappears into the ocean. The second one is protect, keep safe from harm or injury. To protect the boy, Lord Surya blesses him with Kavach and Kundal. Fable, mark the departure or retirement of. King Pandu bids farewell to Kunti and leaves for war. If you like the story and felt it interesting, click on the like button. Do share to your friends and let them know about Mahabharat. Do subscribe for more updates. Thank you.